Hey, welcome. Come on in. Sit down. Let's Thank talk you. about it. So let's start off. Real simple question. Tell me about mm -hmm. yourself. What do I need to know to understand you? Ooh, okay. Well, my name is Paulina Medellin. I'm an international student and I've been in the U.S. for five years. I really like research. I am studying neuroscience and I'm about to graduate in December. I also really like hiking and art. I really like expressing, you know, emotions and feelings through art. So I believe that those are the main things that I would talk about myself and describe who I am. All right, I got it. Okay. So what can you offer us here? Really, what can you yeah. offer us? Oh, well, I believe that I'm a very qualified candidate, not only because of my skills that I have presented on my resume, but also because I have great ambitions. I put my heart into work. I have great programming skills and I um, did a little bit of research on what the company is about. And I'm very interested in applying those programming skills to help people have a really good quality experience as they interact as clients, doing all the forms and paperwork that is needed for our actual, or in this case, if you accept um, me as a worker, the future um, clients that we will have and how relationships and stimuli and experiences will lead to um, behavior and how we can improve those experiences. I like it, I like it. So tell me, let's let's get down to this. What are your limitations? I mean, think about it. What are your limitations for this job? Yeah, my limitations. Well, as you probably told by my accent, I English is not my first language. Even though I am able to communicate clearly and I can convey whatever message that has to be delivered, I still have some struggles with it. I struggle when I encounter a new genre, a new environment where I don't know the vocabulary. However, um, even though this is an impediment or this might be a limitation when, you know, writing an email or just reading or oral communication, I am going to put the work needed as I have in other um, areas of my life to learn the vocabulary and improve the grammar and um, pragmatics needed in order to better communicate and um, bring this limitation down to not be a limitation. All right. All right. So let's go to the next question. Tell mm -hmm. me, what are your ambitions for the future? Not just here. What are your ambitions for the future? My ambitions for the future, I actually really like talking about ambitions or my ambitions for the future. I want to do a PhD, not immediately after I graduate. I want to take some time to get um, work experience in companies such as this one and get, you know, for example, my programming skills out there and develop but i want to do a phd in neuropsychology i believe that behavioral human behavior is fascinating so i want to go to grad school in order to do research and because grad school can give you the tools and the resources that you need in order to be a scientist to develop those thinking skills that every scientist needs and yeah after i graduate i want to do research in human behavior and I want to use those skills and knowledge in order to help companies that are working with, for example, marketing and how certain things, certain cues can help people to be more guided or um, might bring people away from certain, you know, advertising things. Yeah, those are my ambitions for the future. Hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I got that down. Let me ask you this. Do you feel you have the potential to be a good leader? And why do you say that? 
Oh, well, um, I do have that belief that I am a good leader because I am a good leader and I have had different experiences where I have been a leader. I remember that my inspiration to be a good leader was one of my supervisors that made the team feel that they were listened to and that our contributions were valuable. So I remember that this was a such a remarkable experience to me that I decided to apply that in my future leadership positions. And I've been the president of the Nurse Fans Club for two years now. And I have earnestly tried to help people feel valued and that their contributions are, are there and are great and that we are working towards the same goal. So I believe that those are the things that make me a good leader and potentially would make me a good leader in the company if I get the position. All right, interesting, interesting. Now, how would you describe yourself in three adjectives? All right, three adjectives. And why did you choose those three? Okay, three adjectives. That's a good question. Um, I believe that some of my adjectives would be diligent, it would be sympathetic, and probably clever. Um, uh, what <laughs> sorry I mentioned diligent yeah diligent because I am an organized person and I like to achieve my goals so I do whatever it takes to achieve my goals and to be consistent in order to actually plan and get something done then I mentioned sympathetic because I'm a very sensible person and I believe that my sensitive sensitivity has guided me to actually understand people and feel for them even though i might not feel the same thing or like have gone through the same experiences as them i know that they're feeling something and that makes their emotions valid lastly clever i love learning i believe that learning is such an enjoyable thing to do and I also like learning, but applying the things that I learn in a creative way. So that's why I would consider myself clever. Interesting. Three. All right. So tell me about a situation in the past in which you did not succeed. You actually failed. Mm -hmm. What did you learn and what would you do differently? Yeah, um, I would say that the first situation that comes to my mind that was actually remarkable and taught me something was um, once when I was in an internship and I had to do a presentation after the finishing, the internship was done. And I remember that I was really nervous because it was my freshman year and English not my first language. So I remember that in the middle of a presentation, I just mumbled and people look at me like, what do you say? And that got me really nervous and I blinked completely. And I remember that I stopped for like 10 seconds and people were looking at me like, like keep going. So instead of freaking out, it's just like quitting and you know, running away. I breathe in, breathe out. And I thought this can't go worse than it is now so i look at my slide and i decided to explain what the pictures were there and little by little the information came back and i was able to go back on track with what was what i was explaining so yeah um what would i do differently i would probably practice more and rehearse so i would be more confident on what i was saying and making sure that what i was saying in english made sense so I wouldn't have to like speak faster or, you know, making my speech more understandable, I guess. All right, let's dig a little deeper here. Yeah. Now, what would you do if you detected that a peer, that a peer was falsifying expense records as a manager, let's say they're another manager of another department, could even be a peer what would you do in that situation 
yeah ah uh, well i believe that one of my core values is honesty so it would be important for me to to talk to my manager or my supervisor and say hey this happened i know that this happened and i don't think this is honest and i don't think that this person was thinking about the um common well or common good for everyone there this person was thinking about um herself or himself and it is important to to say things when you know because um it is important to share the truth so i would go to my manager and say hey this happened or i think that this happened so you should look into it So I see here in your resume that you've taken a public speaking class. Tell me about your public speaking skills, which you'll need here, mm -hmm. and about your strengths and your weaknesses. Yeah, well, I took this class and it helped me a lot to be a better speaker. I believe that we all need those public speaking skills for everything because we constantly communicate with people. So that helped me a lot. Um, some of my strengths from that class is that I believe that I'm very energetic and I'm very um, detail-oriented person. So I describe things very well and I have good intonations. And my weaknesses is that I have a hard time staying neutral. As you might have noticed with my hand gestures, it is hard for me to stay in a neutral position. Um, so I need to work on those. And I believe that my leaning too. I do lean a little. All right, final question here. If you were shrunk to the size of a... Okay, I think... Oh. A pencil. Mm -hmm. right, go with me on this one. You were shrunk yep. to the size of the pencil. You were the size of a pencil and you were put into an empty blender. How would you get out? Okay? How um. would you get out? That's a great question. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, it reminded me of something that I learned in my psychology class. And it is a situational problem solving skill where you use your environment to get out of a situation. So I would first try to jump on the walls of the blender so I could get out. Um, but if that doesn't work, I would try to unscrew the little part on the bottom and I will try to climb using those sharp things. Um, yeah, and I would try jump. I would I would try jumping multiple times or like even tilt by just pushing the blender on the sides. That's what I would do. Um, one question that I have probably the schedule. I just want to know if it is possible if I get the position. I can work full time during the summer, but then I have to go back to part time to finish school. Um, I just want to know if that would be an impediment for me to get the position. But yeah, thank you so much for the time that you took to interview me and asking me questions. I want to know if it went well, if this is something that I could do and if my qualifications and skills can be valuable for this job position. I'll look forward to hearing back from you and your decision after you have finished interviewing people. Thank you so much.